is uh, is time, and the the problem the problem these days is that people do not have complain they do not have enough time in order to prepare certain things. There are two. Uh, the husband and wife are both working, they both get home late, what can they make, and there's a lot of magazine articles out there, and cookbooks, meal in a minute, and all this kind of thing, which is fine if that's what you want to do, but then again, that's not our purpose here. All right, hold on. That was, that was, I set that timer to remind Patrick to just stop talking after. No, that's, that was the buzzer on the oven, which a you know, very important saying of mine is let the timer be your friend because he hasn't had any other friends for the most part so if you're timing something in this case I'm timing the rising of my second rise of my bread I would have forgotten completely about it unless I had that timer on so the timer went off what, what do you do now unless unless you you know you just you have to do something you have nothing to do you hear that so the timer meant what I just said well, did you do anything? Is the bread risen? Is the oven on? I'm going to sacrifice a few minutes here to, for this segment for our audience. A few minutes here and there because it's, it's <clears> not going to matter. Because we're not, I'm not held to, you know, strict regimen. So if, I, if the dough rises an extra 10 or 50 minutes, it's not going to, it's not going to... What happens if you forget start vacuuming or going doing something in the garden and you got to reset the oven now for 10 minutes. Well, that's that's true. So, as a matter, as a matter of fact, I'm going to reset go, it. Let's see. I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. Good point. So, after 10 minutes, will you shut up? <clears throat> I agree with everything that Patrick just said, which is a first. But I also have to add to his um, cautionary uh, item, and that is use what, what you have on hand. Uh, to go back, take a couple steps back, and my admonition or my my um, what's the word? Credo. For? Credo. My credo is uh, is taking the time to think more about the food that you eat and the more, and the food that you cook, and make cooking and eating a more central part of your life than simply trying to throw things together for the sake putting food in your system so you can survive another day. Uh, maybe you want to give up watching Fox News um, or half an hour at night when you get home. And then you want to devote that time to doing something in the kitchen. It'll, in the final analysis, be more meaningful uh, in, in many ways, not only to the quality of the food you make, but, but in terms of being able to relax and enjoy your after work time maybe spend time you know, with your significant other in the kitchen if that's possible. For me, uh, Patrick, for instance, loves to spend time in the kitchen with his wife. Right, Patrick? Yeah, absolutely. so there you go. Absolutely. So what I'm advocating is making food, if you really want to know, or really want to learn how to cook better and cook more intuitively, uh, is to make food, elevate food and cooking to a higher level of priority in your, in your life. And that goes back to your shopping experience. And that's a key point because if you only, if you only cook with what you <coughs> happen to have, then you're going to be unnecessarily limiting yourself. So the shopping experience is part of what you do. We all have to shop or we're not going to have anything to cook. And so what I advocate is not wasting your time looking at recipes and writing down lists of ingredients that you go shopping for, but simply Go to the store, whatever store you like, and buy things that you think are going to, you're going to want to have in your in your cabinet in your, in your or your, in your refrigerator, because they're the types of things that you enjoy eating and that you enjoy cooking. So that raises the possibility that when you do actually start cooking, you're more likely to have what you want to begin with. It's not just a matter of do the cooking with what you have. It's a, it's a matter of having what you need to cook, uh, but not having to run out and buy something just because the recipe calls for it. Now, I did all that with, without the buzzer going off. Now I'm done. That's my point. Good. I mean, television is one thing that you can certainly, if you don't want to give up entirely, you can cut back a lot of that crap. And because that's, that's just... Uh, consumes time and it doesn't uh, benefit you at all. Something else probably, I, I don't know. 
What, 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 what else can be sacrificed? Uh, lambs, for instance. Sacrificial lambs. You have a, always have a lamb lying around you can sacrifice, I suggest. So, there's the timer. It's like, I guess I'm, I'm done on that segment, but uh, time. What can you do with time? What can you cut out? How can you use it to your advantage in order to uh, achieve what you want to achieve around that has to do with food? The other thing is, um, a lot of that was bullshit. I guess you can cut that out, a lot of that crap. I plan to, absolutely. The other thing about time... You'll probably splice the film right down here. Right. And I'll just appear very wise and reserved and stately over here. You know, I just hear this voice drowning. They don't know where it's coming. Maybe you'll think of a ventriloquist or something. What do you think? No, they... I could have a dummy on me. Well, actually, why don't we just pretend that you are the dummy? And I'm just a really good ventriloquist. You don't have to pretend. I am the dummy. Okay. For even getting involved in this collaboration with you. <laughs>